Hey guys, it's Gold, and I'm back with some more in you, and oh my god, what even is bulk? Holy. That is one of the most bulky things in the tier. That, it's intimidating and it's very bulky. That is one of the most bulkiest things in the tier. That is one of the most especially bulky things in the tier. This thing is almost impossible to kill, and then Musharna. I don't even know how to touch his team. Ugh. <laughs> He will probably predict my Pilloswine lead, but he doesn't have a lot that really wants an Earthquake, so I'm just going to go with it anyways. Uh, that was about the only thing. Uh, I still feel like it's worth it to get my rocks up. As Ooh, he's a dual screener. Or at least a one screener. Uh... Yeah, let's go into light part here. I'm sure he's just on a light screen now. Nope, he does psychic. Whatever, that works. Okay, so he's probably especially defensive with reflect. I am just gonna U-turn. I think he might switch out. So we'll see if that goes wrong or not. But even if he does keep attacking, uh, I think I need to keep. Okay, yeah, great. I do think I need to keep my pillow swine good HP for this guy. Because he's going to help with Quillfish, he's going to help with Bastiodon. Uh, he's really all I have to do against Kragonal. He has super effective damage to Gorgeist. I mean, he's just, just helpful all over the place. I uh, don't think Quillfish can hurt Vilaplume. So I'm feeling pretty safe going in here. And I'm pretty sure he's going to switch into Audino or Gorgeist. Unfortunately, those are very different pokes. Or even Usharna. Um, if it's Gore, guys, I don't want a Sleep Powder. If it's either of the other two, Sleep Powder's fine. At this point, I'm trying to get rid of his Reflect, uh, so that someone that hits hard can come in, probably Lipard or Tauros. Let's hope it's not Gore, guys. Cragonal, I did not predict that at all. Alright, excellent. I can sleep that thing. And I don't really want to test damage here. I think I'm just going to go into Pillow Swine and just start firing off. Um, okay, good. There's Reflect Gone. So I can just start going for Avalanches. Yeah, he doesn't even want to play with that. He just goes right into Musharna. Uh, I get a crit. Not that it really did anything anyways. And this time, uh, he's probably just going to set up a reflect, right? Um, well. Let's see here. I could go into Lipard, but after the reflect, the knockoff probably will not kill. But I don't think he can do much to me. So I'm going to go into Lipard and actually go for the knockoff this turn. Yeah, he does just get up to reflect. Fair enough. And let's just get off the knockoff here. I don't want this thing to have lefties. Even if he does stay in, I'll do probably 30-40%. He brings in an odd Dino. That's a little interesting. Um, I do some solid damage. I'm not sure if that's specially or physically defensive, because his whole team is defensive. Um, is there anything that needs a wish? He's gonna heal bell his Coragonal awake, I bet. Yeah, because nothing on his team needs to be woken or needs a wish yet. Uh, let's see here. Use reflect last turn, so I still have some time to kill. I'm just gonna go into Violet Plume because I really don't think he can hurt me. Yep, didn't figure as much. And let's go for Sludge Bomb. Maybe I will get lucky and I'll poison him. Yeah, like that. Uh, if he doesn't have Protect, I can kill this thing. See, I think Giga Drain can kill, because I'm worried about Bastiodon coming in. Yep, I do predict that. Well, I don't think it really matters, though. No, it doesn't, because Bastiodon is the world's bulkiest special wall. Um, he might be able to get up his rocks now. I don't know that this thing is worth putting to sleep. So 
see here. My issue is if I switch in Pillow Swine predicting rocks and he goes for Earthquake, I'm not going to love that. But I do think I'm bulky enough for it to be okay. Yep. And so, obvious Earthquake is incoming. I think he goes into his Coragonal now. So, predicting that... Let's go into Lipard and just lock into Knockoff. Core guys. Alright, well that worked beautifully. Now he knows I'm banded, unfortunately. But that probably means he is not going to stay in and take a knockoff. Didn't think so. Um, fine, I knock off Quillfish's a Violate. Or not Violate. Good thing it doesn't get a Violate. Black Sludge. So it's done getting recovery. And really don't think you can do much to Vile Plume. This is going to be a long battle, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, at least until someone's core goes down. It's going to take a while. He does T-Wave my Vile Plume, which is bit unfortunate, but not much I can really do about it. Um, I am just going to go for the obvious Giga Drain. He does switch into Bastiodon again, and I get paralyzed. bit unfortunate, really. Um, let's see here. Giga yeah, this is probably a pretty good counter to me. Um, I'm just going to buy some time, put this thing to sleep. Oh, it's soundproof. Very cool. Alright, he does just roar me out. Good. Couldn't have asked for anything better than that. Um, do get a little lucky. What's his Coragonal at? 84%. Oh, no, he's not soundproof. I just already put Coragonal to sleep. What am I doing? I am just going to EQ this time. He does just go into Musharna. Fair enough. That was just a safe play. Uh, I just misplayed on his... Bastiodon. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, Reflect is pretty clearly his best play here. Which is starting to become a big problem for me. He, I guess he could also recover, which would be a good play. Let's just go into Lipard, though. Not really sure which I'm hoping for. He Baton passes, just to get momentum. Okay, well, anytime I get a free switch into Lipard on this team, I'm happy about it. Although he can just go into Quailfish and Intimidate me now, which is that what he does. But I am really starting to wear on this Quailfish. I am just going to U-turn on out because I don't think I can kill it. Um, and so I've gotten some really good damage on Quailfish. Uh, let's see here. He's probably going to predict Vileplume, I'd imagine. Since he's been doing so well with Bastiodon against it. But at the same time, I don't want to bring anything else in. So I'm just going to continue the cycle of going into Violet Plume on Quillfish. He sets up spikes. Alright, this has me really worried. I need to defog soon. <clears throat> Sorry if you can hear my voice kind of going there a little bit. So, incoming Bastiodon is more than likely. I think it makes a good time to go into Togetic here on his predicted switch. Yep. He does go into Bastiodon. I get in my Togetic. He's back up to full HP. I'm guessing that is sturdy. So I'm just going to defog here, really hoping he doesn't have... Uh, Toxic isn't the end of the world. Because I do have the heal bell, I can also heal up my Vila Plume at the same time. So I am completely fine with that. Shoot. I just messed up letting him bring in Audino for free. I need to go into Tauros. But he's got... That darn Gorgeist. I need to go into Tauros, though. I have to force him not to uh, pass this to that Quillfish. I could lock into EQ, uh, which would kill the Quillfish at this point, but he has Coragonal, which I don't really want him passing to either. I'd much rather he passes to Gorgeist here. Come on, please kill, please kill. No! <laughs> Oh my god, that did so much damage, just not quite enough. I'm gonna keep going for it. He goes into Bastio, good switch, man. Um, alright. Well, basically I made that wish good for nothing, but his odd Dino got all his HP back, pretty much. 
or not all, but he's at like 50% or higher. Um, and now he's in with Bastio again. He's probably going to set up his rocks here. So, let's think here. This Bastiodon is a huge problem for me until I can surprise it with an Earthquake on Tauros. Um, it's basically walling my whole team. So here, yeah. It's so, so bulky. All I have is my Pillow Swine. He does get his rocks back up, which is too bad for me. Um, I think I'm just going to get mine back up. I'm assuming he's going into Masharna here. Yep. So we both just get up rocks. I still have not knocked off this Musharna, which is... Frankly, it's shocking. Um, with all the knockoffs that's been flying around. Uh, I was so close to killing this Musharna. And I'm just going to go for it now. I need to get some more damage on this Musharna, even though he has his Reflect up. He does just switch into Gorgeist. I mean... Yeah, it still does decent damage, and I get rid of his lefties, which is good. Um, Let's see here. I could go into Vileplume. I don't want to go into Togetic, because I do not want his Audino to come in for free. So I'm going to avoid going into Togetic, if at all possible. Um, I could go into Vileplume, predicting like a Leech Seed or something. It just becomes a huge stall, but the issue is I don't want to go into anything else. Because this thing is so bulky and has a Will-O-Wisp. Which he does just go for. A little unfortunate. I wouldn't exactly prefer to have my Valaplume burnt. Um, but there's really not much else I can do. His Kragonal is still asleep. I am just going to Sledge Bomb. He does predict that well. Goes right into Bastio. Which is just a extremely hard to break core here. Um... I'm thinking I'm just going to Giga Drain, just cause some damage to this thing. Yeah. He's not really doing much to me. And the Reflect does disappear now, which is great. I just want this thing out of sturdy range, um, which I think I just accomplished. Now I'm going to Moonlight back up in case he does more this turn. No, he doesn't. And so, yeah, I'm just going to make sure it stays out of sturdy range, because... I want to be able to Oko with an Earthquake at some point later in this game. He does get the crit, which is a little unfortunate, but it is Stone Edge. Um, yeah, I'm fine going for one more Giga Drain, I think. He goes into Coragonal now, which is a bit interesting. Um, I'm going to just kind of hope this doesn't wake up. You know what? No, that's a terrible play. If it wakes up, I'm screwed. I have to go into Pillow Swine. It's as simple as that. Alright, well, let's go for an Avalanche here. If it wakes up this turn, yep, it was a good play not just leaving that in. He does get back up to full HP, though, which is, you know, not good for me. And all I can do this thing is Avalanche. He may Rapid Spin, which will double the power of Avalanche, but... It's not doing enough to this Kragonal for it to be worth it. He does just go for Freeze Dry, which is absolutely nothing. Um, I'm just staying in because I can't do anything else to this darn bulky wall. I do get a crit. Okay, come on, Pillow Swine. Ice Shard, let's go, let's go. He does switch, makes it probably a good play there, if we're being honest. Um, and I cannot afford this thing to get toxic. So I have to go into Viola Plume. Uh, I guess Waterfall is a good play too. Tell me I'm faster. Okay, it does just fear it. It goes right into Bastia, which is great. Um, I do get all that nice HP back. And let's just put this darn bastard on to sleep once and for all. Thank goodness. Now that his Coragonal's awake, I can sleep this thing and proceed to get my HP back by going for Giga Drain. He does make a good switch into Audino, but I'm doing a lot of damage. I'm thinking this thing might be physically defensive, uh, just by the looks of that damage. 
let's see here. Giga Drain will kill from that range, so I'm just going to go for another one. Yep, and he is forced to switch back into Bastio. I do crit, sorry for that. I guess it's bound to happen eventually, considering we're on turn 46. I am really comfortable just continuing to click Giga Drain. He has gotten a long sleep roll, though. Which is unlucky for him. Um, but yeah, Viola Plume is the only thing wearing on his team right now. He does finally wake up, gets off a of Stone Edge, which at this point I'm really not too worried about. I'm um, still at 50%. I can keep going for Giga Drain. And I think he's going to have to switch into Gorgeist or something. I do just take out his Bastiodon. Finally, something falls. I'm glad it's Bastiodon. Um, that thing was walling my entire team. Alright. I'm going to... I don't have a good play here. Shoot. Uh, if he recovers, then my Viola Plume dies. If he... Uh, ice... Sorry, if he recovers, he's back to full. Or half, you know. If he Ice Beams, my Viola Plume dies. Predicting the recover. Nope. Ooh, he freeze dries and I live it. Do I live my burn? Yes, I do, because lefties are black sludge at least. Um, I have to go for Moonlight here, get all that HP back. It's a good thing he doesn't have Ice Beam, because that would have killed me for sure. So his Kragonal is back to sleep, which is great for me. Um, I'm just going to get off one nice uh, little recover here. And then I'm going to start attacking. He could go into Musharna, I suppose. It's probably his best play. Gorgeist, alright. And with Gorgeist in, I guess we let the Stall War begin. He subs down, fine with me. I have Sludge Bomb. Uh, Vila Plume is such a good Pokemon. I I don't want to go for Moonlight, though, because I am still really afraid of Pain Split since the last time I saw it. Yep, he does make a good play, just gets out. Now he goes into Musharna. Oh, the damage! Data Musharna. I'm faster. Min Max. Don't screw me. Do 37 again. Yes! Viola Plume is on a rampage. Goes into Audino. Unfortunately, now I have to make a decision whether I just kill this thing off or let it recover something else. I think I have to just go for damage. Let us both die here. Oh, uh, actually, oh, shoot. Giga Drain would have been a much better play. No, 1%. Are you serious? Um. Basically, I just can't let him get off a recover here. Or a wish, rather. Oh my gosh, that was so close. Um, I'm just going to U-turn because I don't want to get walled by something. Yep, I do take out the odd Dino. Excellent, excellent. Finally, that thing dies. Um, let me think here. What can I do to Gorgeist with my Kadabra? Power fire, yeah. Let's go into Kadabra here. Takes on the rest of his team pretty well. I've got a sash, obviously. Uh, his Kragonal's asleep. He does bring it in. He's gonna try to wake up. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the psychic, I suppose. Please don't wake up first turn. He's saying good game, he just forfeits. Man, that was the world's longest battle for just a forfeit. Turn 57, I do go plus 12, I do break into the top, or over 1500 rating against that absurdly bulky team. And let's go to the ladder, let's just check it out here, in you alpha. I am number 14, I am top 15 in the 1500 ratings. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this battle, please let me know, leave a like, something, let me know you're watching these, I really appreciate the feedback. And... Um, I'm sorry that was so stally. There's nothing else I can do against that team except for Violet Plume everything. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.